Hello, my name is Bobby, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use Happy, the latest feature release for ScriptRunner for Jira on premise, to update your existing ScriptRunner scripts. If you're unfamiliar with what Happy is, I recommend you go and watch our previous video, which explains not only what it is, but how it works. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can take an existing script which communicates with Jira through Jira's Java API and update either segments or the entire script using Happy code. This is possible because happy code can exist with your existing scripts. So let's look at the script. First, what this script is currently doing is it's performing a JQL query, getting all issues of type story in my customer success project, which we can see here, there are five. And for each of these stories, it's going to create a bug and link it up to that story through this loop, which returns from the JQL query. So if I run this code now, we can see that once it's run, if I go back to my issue search and I search, we can see that those issues have been created and they've been linked to the stories. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the code that creates the bug and the code that creates the link to be using happy. So first let's change the issue creation. So this is all of the code that creates the issue. So we're going to change that. And I'm just going to say def new issue equals issues dot create and then my first parameter is the project so customer success and the second parameter is the issue type so bug i'm just going to set the description and summary so set summary first as this is a happy bug and let's set the description as hello world. So we've now replaced the code that creates the issue. We now need to replace the code that creates the link. Happy provides you with a function called dot link, and that function is applicable to mutable issues. What that means is that the issues you get back from your Jira Java API can actually have happy code applied to them. So for example, we're performing this JQL using the Jira Java API, and we're looping through all of the issues that are returned from that API call. Because these are mutable issues, I can actually apply happy code to it. So from here, I can say it dot link, and then I just define the link itself. So we're going to be using relates to, and I'm going to link it to the new issue. And that's it. That code has now been replaced. I can also start to remove other lines of code. So for example, up in the top, we have some elements that have been used to set up to get ready to either create the issue or create the link that we no longer need. So we no longer need the issue service or the issue type manager. We no longer need the link type or the available issue link types or the long sequence. We no longer need this issue type line here. So you can see we've been able to reduce the code by a fair amount. We also no longer actually need the project or the project manager. We no longer need these two imports here. And so as you can see, we've reduced this code quite significantly. We're still using the Jira Java API to perform the JQL search and loop through the issues that are returned. But using Happy, we've not only been able to remove the code or reduce the code within the loop down significantly, but also remove a lot of the code leading up to it that was setting up, getting ready to create the issue, et cetera. So here I can just click run, execute this code. The code has been executed. I can go back to my search. I can press enter and we can see that five more bugs have been created using happy. And if I go to the story, we can see that it's been linked successfully using that dot link function. Thank you very much for your time. Have a great day.